From McFarlane Toys and their new Batman Adventures toy line, this is Batgirl. Now, they are doing a Target exclusive line that is Batman the Animated Series. Meanwhile, at GameStop, Big Bad Toy Store, basically everywhere else, you can get these, the new Batman Adventures, which is the designs from the final season of the show. From this line, you could get that version of Batman, Batgirl, Killer Croc, and Two-Face. The reason I picked up Batgirl is because, one, this is one of my favorite Batgirl designs ever, but also, it's the only way to get a Batgirl right now. So, you can see that not only do we get the figure multiple hands and accessories, we don't get a Build-A-Figure piece. Instead, we're going to get an animation cell, question mark, and then a display stand, which, in all honesty, the display stand is going to be nice. The figures we looked at before from this line have been nightmares. Side profile, looks good. Same exact picture on the back, and then just the name on the side. Let's actually open up the figure now. Looking at the pack and gubbin first, here is the animation cell. This is a reproduction cell. You can see on the back it says as much. And it tells you that this is from the episode Love is a Croc, which is when Baby Doll and Killer Croc kind of form a duo. Actually, a really good episode from that season. And it's a decent enough little picture of Batgirl. They put it in a really nice kind of hard paper, soft plastic uh, holder. It's fine. I don't really care for this. I don't, I don't get the appeal of a reproduction animation cell. At the same time, getting this instead of a Build-A-Figure piece made Batgirl $10 cheaper. And considering the fact that I don't really care for a character like Lockup as much as I do Condiment King, that makes me buying Batgirl feel a lot better than, say, when I picked up Riddler from the Lockup wave. Getting Batgirl out of the box, and there are a couple of nice surprises. One, the figure actually stands pretty well on its own. I was not expecting that. The articulation is fine. The design looks pretty solid. The paint overall, good. There's just a couple of issues I have. Um, here's the big one, right? Get ready for this. So, here's a Mattel wrestling figure. They go about seven inches tall. There's very tiny Batgirl. Here, why don't I pull out Batman? So, the Batman from this line, just so we are clear, is almost exactly six inches tall. Batgirl is just under five, maybe closer to four. And they cost, well, granted, they cost less than this Batman. But at $25, they only cost about five bucks less than this Rowdy Roddy Piper. Another thing I'll point out is a lot of where that money goes when you are spending your $25 on this Batgirl is on that and the display stand. Let's talk about some good points first. So, articulation. You have articulation at the head. Hair kind of impairs it. You have a universal at the shoulder. You have a universal at the elbow. You have a universal at the wrist. You have nothing at the waist, but you do have DC Universe Classics hips. They work well. You have a good knee, and then you have back and forth as well as side to side at the ankle. That's all good. Um, the colors look solid. There's not any issues with the paint or the build. I do not like how thin the figure is, just because when I'm articulating it, it occasionally feels like it might snap, but that's the reality of this design. Now again, what else are we getting? Well, we have these two kind of open hands, but if those open hands aren't good enough for you, you get two like this that are slightly more open. So just so we are clear, we have now four hands that are grabby hands. Some are just slightly more open than others. We have... Ba -ba 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 -ba, a couple of closed fists. Those work felt well enough. Then we have two wide open hands, and then we have a kind of grabby hand, and another grabby hand, but this one is at least holding a bat grapple. That's cool, I like that. And then we have a batarang. This is kind of a full-size batarang because we're also getting the small batarang that Batgirl would occasionally use in episodes. And then we get another version of the bat grapple, but this time it's black instead of yellow. If you want to use this piece, I believe... Where can we put it in? Yeah, you just kind of... Oh, well, that's not what we do with it. What? It, where does this go to? What does that go to, actually? It can't go in there. It has to do something with this one. Oh, wow. I thought that it was a thing where, like, oh, you slide it in and then they connect. That's not how this is going at all. So I don't know what this smaller piece is for, then. And here's the thing. I don't care, either. You want to know the reality? I hate alternate hands. I do. I hate alternate hands. Because what's going to happen is me and basically every other person out there who has ever bought this figure 
They're going to find one pair of hands, and they're going to stick with that for this figure's entire life. Or they might change them out like once every three years, if they even keep the figure that long. That's fine to give you options, okay? But when the options are open hand, slightly more open hand, slightly more closed open hand, or slightly, slightly, slightly further open hand, like those aren't really options, are there? You just gave me four of the same option, but then got really anal about how open it is this time. But there's also at least the display stand. The display stand is actually pretty solid. So it says new Batman Adventures on the bottom. We have this rod and then a clamper. The clamper has a spring to it and a nail. So it's actually going to keep its tension pretty well. And with that, we can put Batgirl in it. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm really worried about it messing with the cape. So what I'm actually going to do, I think, is I'm going to put their arm in it. And that's going to help Batgirl stand up well enough. Now, I could use it to actually hold down the torso, but again, I'm worried about that potentially warping the cape over time. And if I put it over, that would also warp the cape. This is the type of thing where if you maybe used a figure art stand where it was instead just like a little plug-in and it could go into the back, that would work. But as is, it's, it's, it's not the most eloquent of solutions. And also, DC Direct used this same exact method for their new Batman Adventures Batgirl, and it wasn't great there either. With all that said, it actually does still kind of bring me a little bit of joy to see a Batgirl, a Robin, and a Batman all in the shared art style, all side by side, all doing something like, say, using their bat grapples. Granted, this Batgirl doesn't match perfectly with this Batman and this Robin, but it definitely works if you want to mix new uh, Batman adventures with the original Batman the Animated Series line. I just... I don't, I don't know, man. With every single figure I get from this line, I enjoy it, and I'm happy to have it. But then I think about the price tag, and I can only, I, I can only ever say, I would tell you to wait for it to go on sale, which it probably won't, because distribution on these figures sucks. So there's not many of them out there. They're hard to come by. When you come by them, you have to pay twenty-five to thirty bucks. For five inch figures that don't articulate all that well, occasionally don't look all that good. But if you're like me and are nostalgic for the show, they're nice. But that's if you are old like me and nostalgic for the show. Would I recommend this Batgirl? Hell no. Would I recommend any of these figures? Uh, the Alfred, still, because he was only 20 and he actually kind of works for that price. But 30 bucks for 20 hands. Why not just make the figure slightly taller? Why not give the figure better paint? Why not give an unmasked head? Why not give a better stand? Like, there's so many other things that the budget that went to these hands and batterings could have gone to. And honestly, I would have been happier if this figure was still 25 bucks, but we just got a nice unmasked head. And maybe a maybe we could switch out from plastic cape to cloth cape. That way, you can have plastic cape like Robin or cloth cape like Batman, and you decide which one. There. That would be my big recommend for this figure. By the way, in the course of making this review, the feet fell off three times, and that was both feet fell off three times, and the knees are now shot. So the figure's also not all that durable because it's thin and the plastic's not great. So I went from having a light not recommend to a skip this figure unless you just absolutely need a Batgirl. At the very least, at least the character stand will help it stand up, which is more than I can say for any figure from Wave 1.